Is it just me or have we all been feeling so unmotivated lately? Like two different entrepreneurs. You got the entrepreneurs that's gonna tell you, ditch the nine to five, do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Nah, girl, keep your job because at the end of the day, your bills are probably still paid with that job. When on everything, egg prices are going up, grocery prices in general is going up. We've seen the gas prices going up. Everything is just going up and it's kind of like, so where does that leave us, you know, entrepreneurs? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is, the CEO by Taste and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe and if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. So y'all, I was actually in the process of getting ready to record content, which is why I look like this. Um, I just recorded content for the company that this hair is from, Fetch Ass Wigs. Use my code RIKA75 for $75 off. Y'all know this is my favorite wig company. Okay, so I just recorded content that should be posting today because I'm gonna upload this video the same day. I'm recording it, but I just felt like turning on the camera and recording because I felt like it was a lot on my mind when I got up this morning. And I feel like other entrepreneurs can feel me because I don't know y'all, I've just been feeling, is it just me or have we all been feeling so unmotivated lately? Like, I feel like with entrepreneurship and y'all know I'm very transparent, I've always been a very transparent entrepreneur and I have not even been a 100% full-time entrepreneur. It's about to be a year. I quit my full-time job last March-ish, really April. So it's about to be a full year since I've been a 100% entrepreneur because I was still technically a full-time entrepreneur because I was still working my business full-time. Like I would work full-time and then I would come home and put an overtime on my business, you feel me? So. I still was full time, just not, I still had my job. But I'm not gonna lie, like, I do love being 100% full time entrepreneur. I love, you know, having the freedom. I feel like I'm living the life that, you know, I've somewhat always wanted to live. Like, I wake up when I want to wake up, I go to bed when I wanna go to bed, I do what I wanna do. I'm able to, you know, like, record but, but a lot comes with that though i feel like people don't realize like i tell y'all um coming from somebody who was still working their full-time job even when my business hit six figures in sales and what a lot of people don't realize is just because somebody's business hits six figures in sales does not mean that they're making six figures every single month like me hitting six figures in sales was throughout a span of time my business accumulated x amount of sales i still have to buy inventory i still have to you know do other things concerning my business so just because i hit six figures doesn't mean that even when my business hit a million dollars in sales my business hit a million dollars in sales in september just because my business hit a million dollars in sales does not mean that every month i am bringing in a million dollars that was within a three year span my business accumulated that amount in sales. So yes, my business did hit seven figures, but at the end of the day, that was throughout, you know, y'all get what I'm trying to say? And I don't know y'all, like I said, I love being a full-time entrepreneur, but I feel like I'm working more now not as much because I did put in a lot of work when it comes to my business. So I don't technically have to put in as much work. Let me change how I say that. Like, for example, I could wake up today right now. Like I've already had five orders today and all I did was be in bed and record content for something that has nothing to do with my business. But that's not the same day every day. There's some days you'll wake up and you will have not a single order. And it's like, okay, what are we going to do? Because Again, I don't have my full-time job to rely on. If you still have your full-time job, you should be grateful. Which is why I tell y'all, do not quit your full-time job. I'm gonna be the entrepreneur. You got two different entrepreneurs. You got the entrepreneurs that's gonna tell you, ditch the nine to five, do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Nah, girl, keep your job because at the end of the day, your bills are probably still paid with that job. When I had my full-time job, whether my business was had orders coming in or not, I was still financially good as far as I could still pay my bills, pay my mortgage, pay my light bill, pay my water bill, get my nails done, get my waxes. I was still good, but it's like now that I don't have that, 
my business and all the other incomes that I have needs to be able to fund, you know, everything, which is why I also preach to you guys, never rely on one source of income. And I give you guys ideas of different things that you can do to make income in addition to your business, because you cannot just rely on one stream of income. Even if you're just working your job, you need something else because what happens if your job decides to wake up and fire you? Now, what are you going to do? You feel what I'm saying? So... I don't know, sometimes like with the world that we're living in now, it kind of gets me nervous, even though I try not to dwell on negative thoughts because it's like, hmm, prices are going up on everything. Egg prices are going up. Grocery prices in general is going up. We've seen the gas prices going up. Everything is just going up and it's kind of like, so where does that leave us, you know, entrepreneurs? Because if the price of groceries are going up, the pay is not going up. Are people going to be shopping as much? But that's why, like I said, you need other sources of income because lately my digital products have been selling on some days way more than my actual products. I've been running a $5 ebook sale, I want to say for like at least a month now. And every day, I want to say roughly at least five ebooks are purchased off of my website. And when it comes to ebooks, that's basically free money. I'm not having, and I'm not having to pack the orders. I'm not having to process these orders. These are just digital products that I wrote from my head that I wrote years ago that are still making me money to this day. But like I said, I'm still feeling like I feel a lot more unmotivated now. And this is about to be my fourth year in business. I, and I feel like all entrepreneurs, we have those days where we're just unmotivated. But I don't know why. I've been feeling it a lot lately. I don't know if it's because of the way the way these prices are. It kind of like has me scared. I don't know, y'all. But let me know how y'all feel. Like, and again, entrepreneurship is not easy. I am one, even though people tell me all the time, like, you make it look so easy. How do you do it? Matter of fact, y'all. <laughs> Matter of fact, my friend, uh, the company that this wig is from, when I just sent her the video I recorded, she literally asked me, do you ever sleep? And she's just like, you're always on the go. Like, people tell me that all the time, and I promise y'all, y'all do not know what happens behind the phone screen. Like, I just have to keep myself busy. Like, I have to keep myself busy at all times because if not, I get stuck in my head. I'm one of those people, I'm a cancer. If you're a cancer, then you already know, like... Cancers, we overthink a lot. And when I start sitting and dwelling on stuff, it gets me depressed. So I have to stay on go. I'm constantly working on content. I'm constantly trying to think of new ways to make money. I'm just always on go. I'm always trying to do something. I can never just sit down and not do anything. I always have to be working Monday through Sunday, okay? And that's, I don't know, but y'all, I promise y'all, entrepreneurship is not easy. Like, even in my previous videos, I've told y'all, like, I feel like times are constantly changing and I constantly have to go back to the drawing board. Coming from, I am an entrepreneur that I started my business pre-C19. So my business was started in 2019, before C19. And then watching, I went through C19, which we kind of are still going through it. Like, you know, still going through C19. And then now a recession and stuff like that. It's definitely up and down cycles. Like entrepreneurship is not up, 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 up. And even when there is a up, it will always come down. And I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs don't realize that because there are entrepreneurs that are out here that, you know, glamorize. And then we also have that stigma of when somebody's an entrepreneur, you have to get an office space. You have to get a storefront. You have to, you have to, you have to. Don't let anybody on social media make you feel like you have to do these things like it's kind of like a formula kind of like when it comes to these music artists like getting surgery and stuff like that when it comes to like smaller businesses it's kind of like once your business starts growing you got to get a new car you got to get a new place whether it's an apartment or a house you got to get these things and when it comes to me i've wanted these things before i became an entrepreneur i was saving to get a house i pre-started my home buying journey before i even started my business before i started my business I was trying to get a house. Before I started my business, I was trying to get a challenger. Like, it's still in my journals from before I started my business. But, of course, starting my business did help me get my goals faster. But I just hate how the way social media glamorizes things, I feel like a lot of entrepreneurs feel like they're such under pressure. Don't 
feel pressured to do anything. Like, you can still live your regular life. You do not have to get a storefront. And another thing people don't realize, like, with me, people are like, get a warehouse, get a warehouse, get a web. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. Like, I've told y'all this on my lives before. I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility. I know people personally that have storefronts, and I've spoken to them, like, to hear their insight. And once you get a storefront, it's a, it's a whole bunch of things that come with that, a whole set of expenses that comes with that. Now you have a whole place to pay for, whether it's rent or mortgage, whether you're purchasing the space or you're renting it out, that's a whole nother bill you have to pay in addition to where you're living. You now gotta pay another place. You gotta pay for water, you gotta pay like employees because you're most likely not going to be there 24 seven. So now somebody else is your responsibility as well. Now you have to worry about them. You gotta hire this, you got, it's just so much that comes with it and I'm not ready for that. Even when it comes to the vending machine business, like I've told y'all, those, those of y'all that did purchase my insight to a vending machine business that's on my website it's a lot that comes with that too and that's why a lot of people have vending machines and they gave up on the vending machine business because they do not know all that comes with it and then a lot of people will see me post my picture with my vending machine like oh my god I want one I want one but they don't know all the cost you know that's associated with the vending machine like I'm sure I'm not gonna see any of the profits that I spent on my vending machines until maybe like next year. I'm sure. Like I'm ready for the profits to start rolling in y'all because like you know the cost of the machines alone. You know, spending about 3500 on the machine on the smaller machines cuz I do have a bigger machine that I spent I want to say about 5000 on. So it's like spending 3500 say for a machine and then having to get it to the delivery space. That's another cost. And then um the mall rent and stuff like that. Like it's so much cost that comes with it that I'm like, I'm just ready to start. You know, once you've spent all this money, it's like, okay, I'm ready for the profits to return. And I feel like even with the vending machine business, that's something that's kind of like YouTube. Like having a YouTube channel, how you could be uploading videos for years and you're still not monetized. And then finally, when you get monetized, you start getting paid, you're able to pay bills off of YouTube. I kind of feel like that's how it is with the vending machine business from my experience so far. It's like, I bought the machines, I got them in the spaces. So now I'm just slowly waiting to keep being recognized. And at the end of the day, it is marketing because my machine being there, somebody will find me on Instagram. I got my QR codes on there, but it's like, I feel like it's, it's going to take a minute. I'm going to have to keep spending money until I finally see my return. And once I finally see my return, it's going to be like, okay, we made it. But some people are not willing to wait. Are you willing to wait to see the investment on your return? Or the return, sorry. <laughs> Are you willing to wait to see the return on your investment? Are you? Because most people are not. So my point of making this video, like I said, this is just a whole bunch of, I hope this video is not all over the place. This is just a whole bunch of thoughts that's been in my head, you know, these past few days, these past few weeks is just like, I don't know, like the future of entrepreneurship um, where we're headed as far as with these prices going up like is it ever gonna go down anytime soon and then I just wanted to educate anybody that's looking into entrepreneurship because of course if you're interested in starting a business I'm a lash vendor babe or guy because I do have guy customers and I have guy subscribers hey y'all but I am a vendor so if you are interested in selling I do have products available for wholesale my website is in the description box if you need my business help, I do have one-on-ones available on my website, and I also have ebooks available on my website. I have plenty of free set videos, but like I said, your entrepreneurship is a lot. Like I told you, I feel like I'm working more now than I was when I had my full-time job, and I think that's because when I had my full-time job, it was like, like I said, I don't have to work as much because... I mean, I was still working as much, but it was like at the end of the day, whether I get orders or not, I don't care because I got my job. Like my bills are good. I'm good. I can still eat. But now that I don't have that, I do have other sources of income. But if you don't, it's kind of like your business is all you got. Like you really got to put in the work. And even though I do have other sources of income, I'm still giving my business my all. And that's why sometimes I feel like I'm still working a lot because every day I wake up, matter of fact, y'all, pause. We, we about to pull an affirmation card. 
Be sure to get you an affirmation card. Y'all, this video is going to be raw, unedited. <sighs> okay. Get you your affirmation cards at tasty.com. We're going to pull an affirmation card because we did not pull an affirmation card today. But I wake up. I pull an affirmation card. I journal. I plan my day the night before. So like today I told y'all it's content day for me. I recorded one piece of content. I'm about to come record. I still have two YouTube videos to record. This is just kind of one of those videos where you're like, I wanna record a video and press the screen and record. Press record and start. But today's content day for me. Today's planning day for me. I'm also working on an ebook today. It's, a, it's not really an ebook, it's more of a list, content ideas for entrepreneurs, real content ideas. So if you're on Instagram and you need real ideas for your business, be sure to cop that ebook when it drops. Follow me on social media. So let's, let's see what this is. Stay consistent and don't let up, period, okay? Today's affirmation, say it with me, you guys. Stay consistent and don't let up. Consistency, now we're gonna piggyback off of this. Consistency is key, you guys. People, y'all might be tired of that word, but consistency really is key. If you want things in life, you have to be consistent with it. At one point, at some point, you're not gonna have to be consistent anymore. Like I told y'all, now there's, I don't have to get up and post. I don't have to get up and sit on live. Like, I don't have to get up and sit on live for a order to come through. I feel like at the place I am, I could probably go a week without posting on social media on my business pages and I will still have a decent amount of orders, but I'm not going to do that because I'm consistent. So, and then you get comfortable. So say for example, if I God forbid don't post for a week, I'm gonna get comfortable not posting. I don't wanna get comfortable. I want to be uncomfortable. I wanna constantly be posting content. Like even now, y'all, I'm constantly thinking of new pieces of content to post. I'm experimenting with my content. Those of y'all that follow me, y'all probably have noticed on my business page, I'm, exper I'm experimenting new pieces of content. Y'all, my camera's about to die. Let me hurry up. <laughs> it's like, hurry up, girl. But I'm experimenting different pieces of content and it's trial and error entrepreneurship is trial and error so i hope you guys enjoyed this little rant all over the place video i just really wanted to speak on that if you are feeling unmotivated get yourself busy watch people that inspire you to keep you motivated if you don't have an affirmation card get your affirmation cards to keep you motivated um, my favorite thing to do when I'm unmotivated is watching other entrepreneurs, like I said, that inspire me. I'll watch their videos, watching people work, um, watching people that I'm inspired by because it'll just motivate me to get to that place, thinking positive, thinking about my future and things of that nature. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your feedback in the comment section and I will see y'all on the next.